Who are we as a nation, the United States? How are we in community? What is our collective mindset? As we head into this election, we're gonna to look today at the Basi astrology of the United States and the forecast for 2025. Welcome, this is Lydia with the Feng Shui and Bazi Chinese Astrology channel. And often I like to read the charts of famous people or countries, because I think it helps us to better understand our own lives and our own astrology. So welcome. If this sparks interest for you, please subscribe, like, and hit the bell so you don't miss a single video. There's lots going on leading into this election and leading into our new year, 2025, which will arrive at the end of January, about 10 days or so after Inauguration Day. So, again, if this sparks interest, subscribe, like, hit the bell. You don't wanna miss a single video. Okay, here we go. The United States, born July 4th, 1776. It's 1713. And this is the four pillars. This country was born on a Yang fire monkey year, a Yang wood horse month, the day yin earth ox and the hour yin water rooster. Now I'm not gonna do a full reading about the United States. I will dig through and find that reading I did long ago. I will also pull up and put in the description the forecast I did for the United States for this year, 2024. Whoa, friends, what a time this is for the United States. And also interesting, the Western astrology for this country is also very much as above, so below, which is how I often describe Bazi astrology. It's based on the five elements. So it's an astrology that is earth-based, whereas Western astrology is of the space, it's of planets in the sky. And so as we have earth and we have sky, we have above and below. I often encourage people who are astrology enthusiasts to check out their own Chinese horoscope to find out how your story plays out. And inevitably there are so many correlations that sync up. It's very interesting. All right, this is a pivotal time for the United States. And in fact, I'm a little bit concerned not to push fear or anxiety. God knows that is shoveled on us on a daily basis, just looking at the news. But to have awareness, and I'm gonna speak a lot about this awareness as we move into the forecast for 2025 at the end of this video. But you know how I like to do these readings. I think it's very important before we look forward that we look at the now and the stepping stones that are gonna get us from here to there. Okay. One of the things to recognize is that the United States is going through its Pluto return. There are a lot of Western astrologers predicting a revolution or a civil war in the coming years. I would also concur with that, but I'm gonna again, as I get into the details of this, explain why I think that this is a different kind of war. Okay, a different kind of conflict. All right, so um, did I say the hour? You know how my brain jumps around. Yin water rooster is our hour. And the United States right now has been in a luck cycle since 2017 of the yin earth sheep. So these are the questions. How are we as a nation? How are we in community? What is our collective mindset? Today, as I am filming this, 
hundreds, if not, I don't know how many people have shown up to shut down Wall Street in protest, Jewish community in protest of Biden and the Biden administration sending all this money and all these arms to Israel in the name of their, their Jewish sovereignty. And they're saying no. They're calling BS on this as it is. And this is the kind of thing that I am seeing this year. From things as big as this to as small or as still important as something going on with P. Diddy and the whole um, sex trafficking and really weird corrupt stuff that goes on in the music and entertainment industry. And this stuff is all coming to a head. It's coming to a surface and it's for a reason. It's part of our ascension. It's part of our awakening. And that is the time that we are in as a collective regardless of astrology. This is where we are as a collective human race on this earth at this now time. It is why the energy in your body may feel frenetic, spazzy, frazzled, fried. It's like, almost like you can't catch your breath. Tucked into this is how are we inspired? What is our moral code? What is our faith? How do we educate? How do we teach? How do we inspire? It's a shakeup in our workforce, in our employment. There is a threat to our sovereignty. And the sheep, our current luck cycle, is in direct conflict with our day pillar of the ox. Where it's literally a head-to-head -head combat. It's two voices in a room screaming and nobody is being heard. It is breaking us in two. It is part of the polarity that we have been experiencing. And you can go back to 2017 and see maybe what was starting all that then. Oh, so that is our current luck cycle. And again, it is very much about our identity, who we are. What does it mean to be an American? And the weird thing is, the odd thing to me is that if you were to ask one political party, somebody from one political party that question and somebody from another political party that question, you're gonna get two very different answers because the country is over this decade has become so divided. No news there, right? No. All right. So we're gonna move on to my next page of notes, 2025. As we get closer to, um, so funny, I'm just now looking at election day 2020. Wow, what a time, huh? So election day is an interesting thing because it is um, pulling focus for the United States in bringing in a penalty, an earth penalty, because you remember the election day is Yangwood Dragon Year and the month of Yangwood Dog because it's two days before the month of November starts according to the Chinese calendar. And it's the day of Yin Water Rooster. And the rooster really sound, it's a sound, it's a wake up call. It is a huge, loud wake-up call. Everybody show up. Everybody vote. And don't just vote the way that you might have always voted. Vote for what you know is best for the country. 
what is going to be the least divisive? <laughs> you know? All right. So if we look at this, um, this uh, is really, you know, here's the thing. Aside from even the astrology of election day is the astrology of the day after. Because the day after the election is all the stems are yang wood. Lined up like soldiers or militia or the National Guard or the Supreme Court. It feels to me like something that is um, uh, like a judgment, like a judgment. It is a dog day, the day after the election with a dog month and a dragon year. It feels like chaos, combative, conflicted, it takes the all of the inflamed uh, conflict and confrontation of 2024 and really brings it home because of the election, because of this very important event. And um, all I can say, friends, is this. When you hear astrology that is pointing to um, things like this, that feels to me, like when I saw it, my first reaction was a, oh, okay. Because I could see something in myself. I saw something that felt military or judgment. And I would say the week of the election is to a time to exercise great caution. I would not plan travel. I would not plan to be far from your home. I would stay, keep life very simple. Very simple that week. Keep your eyes open. And if you see that there are riots or anything going on in your city or your town, stay home. Keep the kids home. Um, awareness is your bubble wrap, right? When we're mindful and aware, we can keep ourselves safe. And at the end of the day, that is the most important thing, is how you take care of you. Inauguration day is the next big day. Interesting, we are still in, even though it says 2025, it's 10 days before the Lunar New Year, thereabouts. And we're still in a Yang Wood Dragon Year. The month is Yin Fire, Ox, the day mirroring the day pillar of the United States, Yin Earth Ox, and the hour because it's usually around noon of yang metal horse. Now, <clears throat> whoa, this is wild. So if we remember that the, you know, and it really is kind of a wrap up of the year because we're right on the cusp of this transformation into the year of the snake. It's gonna be a really interesting time. So this year is a lot about duty and responsibility. It's about the family. It's about how we work, how we are dutiful, how we take care of our responsibilities to all the things that we're responsible for. And it's also as a nation, a year that has been challenged, lots of challenge. And a question of how we identify as Americans. We're a little bit in an identity crisis. And I think part of what people are hungering for 
in this election is having a new president that is going to help us find that new identity in a progressive new age of Aquarius. We don't want somebody that's going to bring us backwards. We want someone that's gonna move us forwards. Do you know how behind we are from other developed nations? Systemically across the board, every system of this country is behind. Anyway, so then we look at the fact that the United States chart has the horse and has the ox. So there's a lot of mirroring happening, but also this is my real concern for inauguration day is that Yang metal sitting on top of fire. And often when I see fire and metal, I think explosions. And Yang metal feels like a big thing. It's not small metal like a gun. This is a big thing, which could mean that there is um, maybe more than one gun. Maybe it's lots of guns. Because the metal and the fire are like a gunshot. And I am very, very concerned about that because the Yang metal also speaks of a revolution. If we even get to inauguration day, because I know there's some questions milling around that as well, I would be very concerned and I sure hope that they have lots of security in place. And I personally would not buy a ticket no matter who wins to attend. It is, you know, gathering outside in large gatherings isn't the way it used to be. Let's just face that. All right, let's now, I wanna bring up a couple of other things. As we go into 2025, we are in the last throes of this luck cycle, which means that we are just as you would be in your astrology. We feel it. I can't tell you how many times somebody orders a Bozzy astrology. I'll put the links for you to get yours. Best time to do it. The written chart, I'm offering a complimentary 2025 forecast with month by month predictions specific to your chart. Um, and so it's a really great time to make that investment in a written chart, which gives you this wonderful report that is like eight pages or something in a PDF file. And then we get a 30 minute sit down to answer your questions, so that's fun. Anyway, um, you feel this. And as a nation, we feel that something is really broken, fractured, at least. As we get to 2027, it is the year of the sheep. It is as if, as we are leaving a decade of the sheep, conflicting with our ox day, a really personal, personal to the people of the United States conflict that we have been dealing with. 2027 as a year of the sheep is almost like giving us a condensed Cliff Notes version of a review. And then we get into it. But here's the thing. 2027 is a year of reviewing what is our identity and um, and the year, and then 2027, the new luck cycle that's coming in on top of that, you know, review of conflict, who are we, confrontation, divisiveness. 2027's new luck cycle for the United States is a Yang metal monkey the monkey hitting our own year of the monkey as a nation shows 
movement, migration, environmental climate change migration. I guarantee, I guarantee. Look at the two back-to-back -back hurricanes. And I told you, I told you in that little video that I posted that the night before that thing hit, I saw tornadoes. I saw this swirling thing slamming into Florida and blazing a path across. And that's what happened. There will be entire states and coastlines that will no longer be inhabitable. We cannot keep rebuilding on land that is just going to continue to be pummeled with these storms. The Gulf of Mexico is so hot. Anyway, so 2027 feels like it's migratory, but even more than that, the Yang metal, as we are Yin Earth, speaks of a massive movement into a revolution. Now, the last time the United States went through a Pluto return was the Revolutionary War. I believe I have this correct. And do I think it would be like that now? No, no. Um, I think that if there were to be conflict, I think it would be something different. And I'm not exactly sure how that would play out. But I don't know about you, but how many liberal-minded Democrats, you know, have guns, for instance, right? And I don't think that this is armed combat kind of a revolution. I just don't see that happening. I think it's I think it's a different kind of violence. I'd like to think so. Anyway, but also interesting that the monkey is a nobleman star for the United States, which shows how this little young country of ours has just chugged along we have that divine grace and protection from the universe blessing us. And so, even though there is this forecast for 10 years of a real revolution, maybe it turns into a renaissance. Maybe it's a positive, not a negative. Aha. That I would really like to see. Hmm. All right. So <laughs> let's now wind ourselves back to what is going on with the United States for 2025. A year of the yin wood snake. The yin wood speaks of a real challenge in leadership a challenge to our employment, to the job market, to um, people who are being critical or condemned or defamed or slandered. Um, it feels um, like a dominant ruling energy um, not very friendly. Okay. And that is what's on the stem. So that's the most active part of the year. Um, we're basically, we're not just going to slide into this new presidency in any way, shape or form with ease and grace. The snake speaks of government. It's all about government, but also it's about the divine feminine. And the mothers, the mothers of this nation. It speaks 
in the tucked in part of the snake, which is like a lesser influence, but still felt this subtle revolutionary transformative it's almost like underground change or an underground movement of change as we are trying to find our identity it feels like a year of flux of you know, almost like when you've moved into a house and it takes you a few months to get settled, that kind of feeling. So I would not say that it feels settled at all. In fact, it feels like, um, yeah, like there is a lot going on under the, behind the scenes. And that's also behind the scenes of groups that might be planning things that would be rebellious or revolutionary. Um, so then we look at the fact that the dragon and the snake are void animals for the United States. And what does that mean? We all in our Basi astrology have two of the Chinese horoscope animals that are our void. It's a time that feels slow to move, slow to get traction. Two steps forward, five steps back. Um, and so this current year is a void, next year is a void. It's just hard to get it all done. Hard to see things moving the way you want it to, want it to. And remember, this is a collective astrology impacting every American. And then you have your own Basi astrology. And I say that because if your astrology is going through a challenging time and your country is going through a challenging time, this is not an easy place for you. Whereas if it's the opposite or rather neutral astrology that you're going through, everything's just kind of okay, nothing big, nothing shattering, or maybe it's positive astrology forecast for you. And you're going into a really great year. That is going to buffer you from what's going on in the world. And that is so important, friends. In all of this, we have choices. We can choose to get angry and that anger can turn to violence. And violence isn't just harming people with your hands holding a gun or a knife. You can harm people with your words. You can harm people with how you comment, for instance, on my channel, being unkind or kind. It's a choice. Every day that we wake up, we have a choice as to whether we plug into the anxiety, the fear mongering, the lies that are promoted for political gain and how that plays out in real time. And we've now seen two instances, one in the, in the Appalachian Mountains with militia confronting FEMA. I'm not even gonna get into it, it's a horror. It's a horror. So we have got to stop and evaluate your life. Your life. What are you doing to promote peace and harmony and community collaboration? You know, like I think of my cousin who moved to this precious town in Massachusetts and has gotten involved in refurbishing the elementary school garden. And in doing so, pulled a community together. And this is what we can do. Because what's happening out in the world is gonna happen out in the world with or without you being scared of it 
anxious about it, enraged about it. If we're able to turn that focus towards our own lives and try our best every day to be kind, to be compassionate, to be good in all ways, then, then we begin to see that rippling out in the world around us because we begin to ask that, demand that of the people around us. Can you please just be kind? Your family members, your friends, your colleagues, your employer, can you just be kind in all ways? Thank you. Thank you. I so appreciate that. Thank you. What is going on with the United States 2025 with the snake? Concerns me again because of the, the fire and the metal. There is a full fire trio. The luck cycle of the sheep, our month of the horse, the year of the snake. Add to that the snake our hour of the rooster, our day of the ox makes a full metal trio. This shows com combat, it shows violence. It feels explosive. It is concerning. And I go back to what I just said. What are we doing to create peace? You know, there is also a full fire penalty with our life pillar of the tiger, our year of the monkey, and the 2025 year of the snake. This weakens wood, the job market, again, employment, again. And the fire penalty speaks of things like look at um, the Supreme Court, look at who is being sued, look at what is going on with the laws being passed, what is going on with um, retribution, People who are losing face, like P. Diddy Combs, for instance, or, um, I mean, there's just a long laundry list of people. Anyway, um, and looking at our health, some people have mentioned another pandemic or another virus outbreak. It'd be very interesting after the COVID thing if the United States and its people would actually stand for all the things that they put into place during COVID, wouldn't it? I don't think it would happen. I don't think they could get away with it again. <laughs> I don't know. I live out in the middle of nowhere, so it wouldn't affect me that much. But anyway, so we have to be worried about our health. We need to be worried about our safety. We need to be um, ensure that um, laws are in place to keep us safe um, and to support us in our lives. It feels like um, that fire and metal really concern me, friends. They really do. And um, the fact that there's also a full fire penalty involved. Wow, 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 and more wow. I think that this is a, a year that will be transformative. And just look at it this way, when we arrive at the year of the horse in 2026, in the final stretch of this current luck cycle. Wow. Um, it's really something. I welcome your comments, your questions. Again, please keep it kind. Just reading astrology here. And um, I have over 20 years experience as a master Bazi astrologer and a feng shui consultant. Um, 
I use a deeply intuitive voice with these messages. I guarantee there is no one else reading Bazi astrology like I do. Um, and my teacher, 22 years ago, recognized that I had this internal voice. And the way that I was divining these charts was truly unique. So I'm going to leave you with all of this to mull over. But again, you can take all this information, compost it in your own life, and grow your own garden. Until next time, be well.